You're watching TVC News. The federal government has been urged to pay more attention on grassroots enlightenment campaigns aimed at reducing the use of illicit drugs. At a rally in Lagos, participants identified peer pressure as a major catalyst in drug abuse and its attendant negative effects on the society. Theophilus Elama reports. According to a survey carried out by the Nigerian National Bureau of Statistics in 2018, nearly 15% of the adult population in Nigeria reported a considerable level of use of psychoactive drug substances. It's a rate much higher than the 2016 global average of 5.6% among adults. The report showed the highest levels of drug use was recorded among people aged between 25 and 39, with cannabis being the most widely drug abused. Drug use habits in Nigeria have devolved, with young people increasingly resorting to potent mixtures of several drugs at the high risk of fatal overdoses. It's no wonder the NDLEA has been on the clampdown of importers of illicit drugs. Just recently, a suspected drug trafficker, Chibogu Ernest Obiora, was intercepted by operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, at the Mutalam Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, Lagos. He excreted 97 wraps of cocaine worth 360 million naira. Obiora's case is one among many revelations to have come out in recent days and left a bewildered nation to wonder just how lucrative Nigeria's market for hard drugs has become. In order to further press home the message against drug abuse, campaigns of this nature have become imperative. The use of illicit substances has become a very serious problem in our country, Nigeria. A study done by the United Nations um, Office on Drugs and Crime in 2019 showed that one in seven people within the ages of 15 to 64 years is involved in the use of psychoactive substance and that amounts to like 14.3 million of our population and that's staggering, that's very high. Out of this, out of four people that you see using this substance, one out of four is a woman. Now, why is there so much about substance abuse? Number one, we can talk about peer pressure amidst our youths. Majority of children that go into drug are children of uh, very important personalities. From their school, even from the primary school, even from their nursery schools, they indulge. They have friends that introduce them to this drug. The reason is very well known to them. But when they go out, they continue from there and they become addicts. The government has always condemned the use of illicit drugs, oftentimes raiding areas they suspect to be havens for the sale of these substances. But is this the way to go in stemming the tide? Through advocacy, we can make them to understand. The street you are here, this Ailara, is a notorious place, very notorious. By 6 p.m., if you come here, everybody here sell what have you. And the youth are the people benefiting. So it is our duty to educate them. I think that the government needs to implement um, a lot of their policies. It's not as if those policies are not there, but they need to implement it strictly. Like you look at the fact that cannabis is illegal in Nigeria. And despite the illegality, you can find it on any streets, 100 naira, you buy SK. 500 naira, you buy Lao, the Jumbo Park, and there are laws. So we need a stricter implementation of these laws as regards substance abuse use. Many factors as to the reason for the use of illicit drugs have been identified, but it is believed that the right enlightenment at the grassroots will provide a much needed silver bullet. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.